Carlos Slim monopolistic practices have harmed the people of Mexico and its economy. Good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, my name uh, is Juan Jose Gutierrez, and I'm one of the uh, coordinators of the coalition that convened this very important press conference uh, this morning. Our mission is to expose uh, Carlos uh, Slim uh, monopolistic and predatory practices and be the voice uh, for the voiceless. Now we are back in my home state and joined here by some of the most respected California leaders and consumer protection advocates in the state to speak out again about Slim and his insatiable appetite to gobble up companies and spread his politics and practices that have left the people of Mexico stuck with high prices and unreliable services. We have been very concerned uh, recently with Carlos Slim's company TrackPhone since it acquired the California-based Simple Mobile. We will not allow the gouging of consumers that have cost Mexico $13.4 billion from 2005 to 2009. We cannot allow that to happen here in California. And we urge the California Public Utilities Commission to protect consumers and to call for a full investigation, a comprehensive investigation review on how to protect consumers impacted by this acquisition. And it's very important for our CPUC to step up to the plate, which they have not yet, and that is what our legislation will do. The Public Utilities Commission is in the eye of another storm after failing to scrutinize the takeover of a cell phone company by controversial Mexican telecom businessman Carlos Slim. KGO's John Lobertini is in Sacramento where state lawmakers are calling for an investigation. Carlos Slim is considered the small lord of the telecommunications industry. His company, Track Phone, specializes in prepaid phones, phones that have become popular among the poor in a down economy. Slim's takeover of California based Simple Mobile gives him 22 million customers in the U.S. That's almost half of the prepaid telephone market. Our concern grew not only because the California Public Utilities Commission failed to hold public hearings or conduct a review of the merger, the acquisition itself, but because of Mr. Slim's dismal record. That's Los Angeles State Senator Kevin DeLeon on the north steps of the state capitol this morning. He says Slim is accused of bilking the poor out of billions of dollars in Mexico. Some state legislators and consumer activists are calling for an investigation into track phone. It's a cell phone company owned by the world's richest man. Carlos Slim's owns California-based cell phone company. It's called Simple Mobile. They make track phone. It's the largest prepaid cell provider in the nation. And lawmakers say the Public Utilities Commission never reviewed the acquisition, and they say the company preys on low-income families. Para hablarnos sobre esta manifestación esta mañana que fue precisamente contra la Comisión de Servicios Públicos del Estado por permitir la venta de esta telefónica a este millonario. Muy buenas tardes, Carlos. Muy buenas tardes, gusto a ustedes. A, a ver, dígame, ¿qué es lo que usted opina sobre esto? Bueno, nosotros opinamos que ya es tiempo que el, el pueblo norteamericano y muy principalmente su sector inmigrante y latino de los Estados Unidos se tomen conciencia de que el hombre más rico del mundo, hay que corregir eso, es el hombre más rico del mundo, Carlos Slim, con una fortuna personal de más de 73 mil millones de dólares, eh, pues ha amasado esta fortuna sobre las espaldas de los sectores más humildes y pobres en principio de México y más recientemente de 19 otros países norte, eh, latinoamericanos donde ahora controla los monopolios de las telecomunicaciones y ya entró a Estados Unidos en el mismo campo de negocios eh, a través de su empresa TrackPhone que en junio del año pasado como acaban de reportar adquirió a Simple Mobile eh, que eh, en conjunto ahora, ahora que se han fusionado, pues son eh, los proveedores número uno de servicios de telefonía prepagados con una base de consumidores de más de 45 millones actualmente en los Estados Unidos. Today, to assure that we will continue holding him accountable where we can. 
We won't stop here just with the press conference today. On Thursday, we will be taking our message to Los Angeles as we rally in front of the CPUC, calling for more government oversight, especially for companies like Carlos Slim that have harmed millions of people. In terms of the customer service that telecommunications provide, they regulate them. So if they're giving deceiving practices or overcharging people, that's something that the PUC can get involved. Thank you.